Okay, so in this video, I'll be answering some common vaccine related questions. The first question, I had COVID infection last month. Do I need to get vaccinated now? Yes, you must get vaccinated because there is still a chance that you can get reinfection from COVID-19. Vaccines will boost up your immune system and your chance of getting reinfection will be very, very low. I am pregnant. Can I get vaccinated? Yes, you can get vaccinated. Vaccines are totally safe for pregnant ladies. I am diabetic. Should I get vaccinated? It's very important for diabetic patients to get vaccinated because COVID-19 complications are very common in diabetic patients. Is it okay to get second dose at 4, 8 or 12 weeks? Yes, it's totally fine if you get your second dose even after 12 weeks. How long does COVID vaccine immunity last? This thing is still under research and uh, we cannot say for sure that how long does COVID vaccine immunity will last. But uh, all those who were vaccinated initially, they still are immune to COVID-19. I had my first dose and still got COVID-19. Should I take my second dose? This is a very important question. Uh, if you got COVID-19 after your first dose, maybe you got infected before that first dose and it was in incubation period. You should get your second dose, but you should space it out with 28 days at least. Will virus mutation make vaccine less effective? The thing is that the immunity produced by these vaccines is, has a very broad coverage. So they are effective against many strains, but there is still a slight chance that any virus mutation can make vaccine less effective. Got exposed to someone with possible COVID yesterday. What should I do? Which test should I get? It's too early to get any test. You should isolate yourself for the next 14 days. If you develop any symptoms, get yourself tested. And if you do not develop any symptoms in the next 14 days, declare victory and you can go outside. Can I take Pfizer, AstraZeneca after getting vaccinated with Covaxin or Sinopharm? This thing is still under trial. Research is going on and you will have to wait for two to three months for the results to come back and to get your answer. Do COVID vaccines cause erectile dysfunction? No, COVID vaccines do not cause erectile dysfunction or infertility, but death from COVID-19 can cause erectile dysfunction. I am vaccinated, should I wear mask? Vaccines are not 100% effective. The efficacy of vaccine is 90 to 95%. There is still a very, very low chance that you can get reinfected again. One in 20 vaccinated people is still susceptible to get infection from COVID-19. So you must wear a mask in whenever you are in a crowded place. COVID diagnosed when to see the doctor. You must see doctor immediately if you are diagnosed with COVID-19. Your doctor will assess your condition and will recommend you treatment. If you are a mild case, which is very common, you might be treated at home and your doctor will guide you accordingly. I have made a video on COVID-19 home treatment. You can check out that video in the link given in the description below. Can I get COVID infection if I am vaccinated? As I told you previously, that COVID vaccines are not 100% effective. COVID vaccines are 90 to 95% effective. You must take care. You must follow precautions even if you are vaccinated because there is still a slight chance that you can get reinfection. So wear a mask and follow all the precautions even after getting vaccinated. Do vaccines cause COVID? No, vaccines do not cause COVID. They protect you from COVID-19. Do vaccines cause immunosuppression? No, vaccines do not cause immunosuppression. I am lactating. Can I get vaccinated? Yes, you must get vaccinated to protect your child from getting COVID-19 infection from you. Are vaccines effective against variants? As I said, that vaccines produce immunity which has a very broad coverage. So they are effective against many virus variants. Do vaccines have side effects? Side effects produced by vaccines are very, very mild. They, are, they include fever, headache, body aches, myalgias, and they are easily tolerable. The severe adverse reaction caused by vaccines are very rare. Like in million people vaccinated, only five can get severe anaphylactic reaction. 
but the chance of you getting covid 19 infection is way way more than you getting an adverse reaction from vaccine so you must get vaccinated if you have any questions regarding covid 19 infection or covid vaccine you can share your question in the comment section given below i'll try to answer all these questions in my next video Thank you very much. If you liked my video, please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on COVID-19. Thank you very much.